We begin with the Telegraph and the ongoing protests in China. Kerry, tell me more. Yeah, we've got that at the front of the Guardian as well. And the um, major story is the protests erupting in China as a backlash uh, against the zero co- COVID policy of... And you said a moment ago, Xi Jinping, I think, which um, I looked yeah. it up on Google today to get the right pronunciation. And it's actually Xi Jinping. Did you know that? She, yeah, well, that's very he, he's a she, very it? much for the modern age. So, uh, and she is causing all these problems. Um, what, what's happened is uh, the, 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 we're seeing eruptions of uh, people against standing against authority now, like like in Iran. So it's getting quite interesting. Um, and China has kept this zero COVID policy. So it starts off. It, it's, it's almost like China is behaving like a stroppy teenager. You know, it started off with denying there was any kind of disease because that would look, make China look bad. And then it was, uh, yes, we've got a disease, but um, hey, look, we can lock down completely whilst, whilst all the Western countries were struggling. And there was a, there was a while of showing off that look, look at us. Uh, and, and that committed them to a zero COVID policy, which now they've got to keep up. So, and this is uh, in deference to the amount of money they're losing through industry uh, as, as everyone's just not working. And, uh, and it's led to a fire recently and um, people dying because uh, there was no way they could get, um, get help. And it, all, all the doors on the outside of the building were locked yeah. in order to stop the virus spreading and they perished in the building. Nine deaths. It's, yeah, but it's also through pride they've been using a weak vaccine that, that hasn't really been working as well. And uh, they've gone through all the embarrassment, pride, and now it's overcompensating. Yeah. It's a mess, really. It, it is a real mess. And, and, of course, the issue is that because of their strict zero COVID policy, Diane, there isn't immunity in the population. So I guess if the virus were to rip, it would be a big headache for them. Massive headache. I mean, I've had COVID twice. I think Shut quite... Off. Yeah, look at you. Thank you. <laughs> um, I mean, the second You're album so tough. was a little tricky. You've got the immune system of an ox, haven't you? <laughs> I is do. that a compliment? Yes, I think. Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, okay. The rest of, the you, the rest so, of you is... Tell us more. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it, this will be... They haven't got any immunity. And I actually saw a, uh, a Chinese man and he, w- he was doing this uh, protest to the video saying, what, have we got weak immune systems? Mm. Why are we not being allowed to get this virus, get it and then move on with our lives? And it's coming at a very interesting time because obviously uh, Xi Jinping has become the everlasting leader of China forevermore. Uh, uh-huh. He did that very public dragging out from uh, of Hugh uh, Jintao the ex-leader, where he was not feeling well and he was removed publicly. Which is what my wife says when she picks me up from my local. (laughs) (laughs) That you are not feeling well. Half (laughs) eleven. Drinking up time. You've had enough. (laughs) Um, So... China is already in a very interesting position and uh, their property market is falling through the roof and the banks are uh, going bankrupt. It's not a great time to invest in China at all. It's it's in a really kind of tricky state. And on top of this, they're just locking down their citizens. But to see this amount of public protest yeah. and that we've seen it all the way over here in the West is incredible because um, normally like this would be so severely repressed mm. We wouldn't even get it like a, a whiff of yeah. it, you know what I mean? But we've seen it everywhere. Yeah, yeah we are seeing it. And also they've set up um, officers, like local officers from the public to police all of this. So now they've got a whole new network of kind of uh, stand-in police, which will add to uh, like, the power like, that the, the Chinese government have got. So. Like PCSOs. Tiny, kind of, yeah. yeah. It, it's almost <laughs> like they, they won't lift those levers of control when the pandemic's over. No, that's not going to happen.